everyone. Welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Thursday, March 25th. Uh, great morning of trading plus 1,769 and 50 cents. Uh, let's go over these. I'll show you what we did here, starting with uh, no mighty 90s. So that's the first time in a while we haven't had any mighty 90s. Uh, did a pairs trade later in the morning, booked uh, 306 on that. It was I was long Russell versus short the NASDAQ. And then on the runner front, I uh, had a runner in the NASDAQ book, 286.50, beyond minus $9, a little scratch trade there. Facebook plus 854, my biggest winner. Uh, Netflix, nice winner for 590. And then Piton, loser for 258. So let's check these out. I'll show you what we did. Starting with the NASDAQ. So in the NASDAQ, we were, uh, I was looking at different stocks and I was looking at the NASDAQ. And we had this situation where right at the beginning of the day, uh, the NASDAQ just really started pushing, had its second higher volume bar, really big. Uh, so on this pullback, we got long. And when this thing pushed up, got out of the majority of it up here. And then when, it's, when it looked like it was pushing up again and then just failed, we got out of the rest right there. So booked a nice profit. Uh, Beyond Meat, uh, so this one uh, I was, I, I took a couple longs, uh, Piton and Beyond. Both my losers were were longs, and, I, and so I had a pretty short leash on it. Uh, with Beyond, it had this big volume spike here. Pulled back to the unchanged. I was just trying to catch a quick bounce. I got out of half on this bounce, and then when it flushed down, I just closed out of the rest. I really got a bad fill. I was trying to get out, trying to get out, and it just kept flushing on me. So I ended up taking a little, a little bit of a loss. Should have been a positive P&L had I been a little quicker on the trigger. Uh, Facebook. Facebook was a nice runner. This was uh, uh, right around the same time that we entered the NASDAQ. Had this big, massive volume spike. Uh, price pulled back to this pivot, got long, pushed up, and I just got out of all my, scaled out and got out of my last piece right at the top there. So nice $854 winner in Facebook. Netflix plus 590. So this one was a nice winner, but could have been much better. So I had this push down, uh, started to bounce. I was looking for something to get short when the market started to bounce. Netflix had been weak all morning. And so as it pushed up to this pivot, I got short right here. I also had some uh, volume. So you could kind of consider this a mighty 90 trade. Uh, but I, I, I said from the beginning I was going to manage it like a, a downside runner. And so that's, that's how I'll classify it. But, um, and then it pushed up again. Right when it broke through the highs of the day, I was trying to add to the position and I missed getting filled. I was kind of trying to be a little too cute, dancing around, adjusting my price and just missed it. And then this thing flushed. Uh, so what was a $590 winner would have been at least double that had I gotten had I gotten filled on my ad there. So should have, could have, would have, still a nice winner. And then uh, Piton was a loser so this is another one i was i was trying to get long and and the logic behind this is had this initial strength to begin with and then just held positive held positive held positive right there right there right there so about right here i was like okay the rest of the market is flushing lower piton is holding strong i think we're going to get a bounce here it, it, you know if the market bounces we're going to get a bounce in piton unfortunately the market didn't bounce it just kept flushing so I had a really short leash on this one, and this was kind of like what I just mentioned in uh, in Beyond, where I was trying to get out, and um, and this thing just flushed on me. So I ended up taking a bigger loss than I wanted, minus 258. It should have been closer to like a hundred dollar loss. I was trying to keep it pretty minimal, but this, sometimes that happens. So all in all, plus 1,769.50 on the day. So good morning of trading. We were done early, which I love. So I'm not sitting there staring at my screens all day. And uh, look forward to having another good day tomorrow on Friday in the live trading room. See you then.